Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to WWE 2K24, my GM mode, season three, week two, here on the Backbreaker Gaming channel. Uh, once again, welcome and good to see you all here. Uh, we are uh, on our way to uh, dominating, as always. We are in first place currently. But we still have some work to do because we still are behind in fans to Monday Night Raw here. So, uh, once again, we do record these live every uh, Wednesday and Saturday after AW Dynamite, AW Collision. Well, most weeks. Over on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And for those watching on Twitch right now, we do put these up as YouTube videos up on our uh, Backbreaker Gaming channel, youtube.com slash at Backbreaker underscore gaming. It's been a long week. I'm just getting off holidays here tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, let's uh, every Tuesday and Friday, by the way. But yeah, let's uh, the summary here basically is we dropped a few fans to uh, smack or to raw again uh ecw's decided to play a couple cards on us that are absolutely asinine and hilarious and we have one rivalry to go and we need to get at least two level fours before the ple so let's uh let's get to it here okay the veto champ Double costs on our regular matches are going to cost double. La di da. So yeah, we got expert crew we could get, which would give us a bit of a bonus. Special effects. More fans. I think I'll pick that up after I pick up. And then this one, after we can pick up the stadium. My goal right now, first of all, is to get this. We need eight assets, though, so I want to make sure we uh, save up for that. We're going to have to use one up at the PLE. So it's probably going to be the first week after uh, Backlash that we're going to be able to get the stadium shows going. But here's the other part I'm looking forward to. we got a couple upgrades to do. Shanna Baszler. Either a fighter or a giant. So she's currently a bruiser. We'll probably put her as a fighter if we can, right? Because that's basically what we're running right now. So might as well keep everybody consistent here. And then Nikita Lyons gets a, gets a personality bonus. This person loses two less stamina when participating matches. And this will lose less morale. Let's keep the stamina up so I can get them working more. All right. With that being said, let's book this Dan card. All right. So the one thing I want to do. I want Jane calling out Nile. Because that's the rivalry I actually want to go with. If we can here. Uh, is there another f I want to get Baszler involved so maybe what we'll do is who do you want to see take on Shayna Baszler here Alba Fire or Cora Jade Cause that's looks like where we're what we're going with right now. I'm almost tempted to go with go with Alba. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we'll go with that one. See if we can get 
like I said, we're trying to get rivalries here, so. I do want to book one men's match before we do anything else, too. You know what we'll do? Father versus son. We got to get Gargano a match. Let's get a Gargano and Theory a match together. But we did want to get some tag teams going here. But to do that, we're going to have to go check out the... Uh, check out the class here. So I do want to get some established. We're going to have to go established because we do have some... Actually, the first thing I want to do is get an opponent for Thea. Let's see how this works out here. What we got here left. I think what we're probably going to do for a team is Thea Hale and Nikita Lyons. And we could find Cora a partner. Yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do here. So spend a little extra money. Corey JC, I think we ran that already. We're going to have to find a heal either way here, so. Regal's only considered a level five. I'm tempted to bring in Jody Garcia because this is the one that. Uh, and she'd be a giant too, so she could work. This actually fits in perfect. This is the one that kept running in ECW all the time. So let me book her right now. 23 grand's nothing for right now. If I don't do JC, who do I do for this uh this feud? There's nobody here, really. Uh, it's, that's where I'm, it's all about, I'm running, I'm running short on a few women here, so. This here could be our, uh. This could be our tag title feud right now. We probably will get a few more extra talents here going on. Who we got left? Not a lot. These two are to feud. Let's see what we got for... Scripps is a heel cruiser, which isn't going to help me. A heel bruiser. I got to get a face somehow here. Darius? I know we said something about not using... Uh, not using the guys from uh, the Pat McAfee show, but that's so cheap. He's got a decent mic skill. Screw it for 7,200. Do we have enough for a tag? That's the thing. Why not?
We actually need a couple heals too. One giant. Not going to use any more tonight, so I can just do this. <sighs> Even if he does a promo for me once in a while. This roster is going to be a little bit crazy going forward here. All right. Why not? Have two guys on the McAfee show fighting each other. And then we'll set up this match. Maybe we can force a tag rivalry out of this. Why not? I want JC to call it. I want to get that to be a rivalry here, but it's... And this one, well... One thing I want to check, how close are these guys to leveling up? Right now, we don't have anybody that's close to leveling up, so we're okay. So then for this one, I'll just do... I just gotta make sure I book these in the right order or else this is gonna be tr hot trash. I'm going to play a hunch here. It's going to be a bad hunch, but it's a hunch nonetheless. I think that's where we go with this. We got two tags. We got two possible level ones that we could get going here. And we've literally used everybody on the rosters, so... We are going to have to start building a little bit more of a roster here as we go, but. Check out our power cards here. This is always important. 60 grand for that. That's a little dicey. What do you think? 60 grand for a TLC badge? Nah, all right. So this one could not be used in week 25. So you know how, uh, you know how Heyman pulled that card on me this week? I'm pulling that card on him at Backlash. I am a vindictive, angry son of a gun. But anyway, I think we got our cards set. We got two tag matches. Because we... We need to get a little bit more tags in here. I just, and hell, we we'll, could even get, you know, some of the McAfee guys feuding with each other and get that rivalry up somehow. And yeah, our main event, I think we'll go with uh, Fire and Baszler. I think she gets, Alba Fire gets the main event two weeks in a row. Yeah, I think we're good. All the world hates a coward. Let's do it to her. So we get to check everybody else's booking out first this time. So after that uh, 
run in on Indy in that tag match. Tiffany Stratton takes on Indy Hartwell. This is going to be a 12 star match. Only three. I'm amazed. Normal tag match. Liv Morgan and Candice LeRae versus Piper and Ronda. One, two. That's it. Bring it. Candice and Liv, two and a half with a rivalry. Okay. Ivar and The Miz versus Kofi and... Versus the... They got the New Day. One. Impressive. The New Day wins. New rivalry. Then a tables match, triple threat, non-title. Jake the Snake, Julius Creed, MVP. One, two, bring that back. MVP wins. Roberts and Creed, so the two that didn't win have the rivalry. So that was actually pretty successful to them, despite the lack of promos. So a fatal four-way for the for the heavyweight title. Adria Buck defending against the Honky Tonk Man, Sheamus, and Reigns. This is a way you get a title off a champ. Sheamus and Reigns got the rivalry, but And the only reason I bring that up is because Champ Champ is still Champ Champ. And that sucks. Finn Balor cannot call out Eddie Guerrero. Big shock. Alexa Bliss and Raquel Rodriguez in a tables match. They're going to try and force feed this rivalry. Bliss and Rodriguez at a level. Okay. They got that rivalry out finally. Tommaso getting three grand. Eddie Guerrero, Elton Prince with a run in by Oma. Oh, God. One, two. It's over. Bring it. Eddie still wins regardless. And Oma and Guerrero get a rival. How come I do a rivalry? I can't get a run in. And our main event here for the U.S. title. Could we see champ, 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 champ come here? As Booker T takes on McIntyre, this would be hilarious. Yes! <laughs> Four and a half star match, fine. All the men's titles for WCW are now on two people. <laughs> you idiot! Yeah, that's pretty much the way I think of that. Let's go over to Raw. Breaker and Priest versus R Truth and LA Knight. Dub C Dub. Yeah, that's exactly it. One, it's, it's amazing how idiotic WCW plays in here. Alright, so you got two singles feuds, now you got a tag feud. That alright. Gigi can't put herself over. Robert Rude versus Chad Gable. Finally got that rivalry off the ground. Only took him two times. Bailey putting herself over as expected. Good promo. Ridge going after Shinsuke once again. One, two, that's three. Bring it. Three stars. Isla call it out GG. All right, we're getting a singles feud going there. And our main event, an Extreme Rules match, Molly Holly versus Bianca. Molly Holly retains. Another four and a half star match. We're not getting that tonight. We are struggling. Dun, 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 da, da, da. Dun, 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 All right, so as we are looking for new tag teams here and we hired Jody Garcia, which if you didn't get the laugh, uh, she basically every week did a promo on ECW. Sometimes two, just to see if they get the rip. So then uh, we're going to stick with Cora Jade, who's Miss Reliable. Take it on Nikita Lyons and a debuting Thea Hale. 
and I want Thea has a little bit of a pet project here that I wanted to see if we can work with and get up to a decent number because if I could change your category up to something else maybe we can get her a few more matches but let's check this out they're all regular matches thanks to Paul Heyman so the tag matches will take a little bit longer to do as we're in Smashville tonight once again everybody thank you for stopping by here I truly do appreciate you So how come I got a feeling that Raw is going to play a bunch of cards on us next week? It, it just seems only fair that they would start getting in the action too. But I'll definitely give uh, Heyman a few... Uh... Hey, Boris. How'd it go tonight? How did the side cast go for you over there on Love Wrestling, sir? Hope it went well for you guys. And her partner from Good, I'm glad. Michigan, Judy Garcia. We're just going through uh, GM mode here on uh, WWE 2K24. Gives us a chance to talk a little bit of wrestling and have a little fun to see how we would book things in different ways. Yeah, I'd have to say, like, I was... Need to be a gamer? Not really, like, literally, my hands are off of this. It's a sim right now for me. It, basically, if you're... If you ever heard of Fire Pro Wrestling World, it's sort of the same thing. You can just sit back and... Okada Danielson was absolute. I, I loved it. I would have to say the private party. I didn't like the fact that they missed their finisher. Honestly, Boris, get yourself a Steam account. It's available on your computer. It doesn't take much memory to run. Honestly, you could do streams of Fire Pro if you wanted. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg right now. Because <laughs> I love the fact that with Nikita, they actually had to take a clip of her screaming into the intro. But no, I think Fire Pro was like 20 bucks, you're saying? There's a bunch of packages you can add on, like DLC in terms of characters. Hey, Boris, I appreciate you coming down. Always great seeing you and enjoy bed. And uh, yeah, great job on the call of the weekend here. A lot of good, heard a lot of good things. So <coughs> if you guys are familiar, Big Bad Boris is the uh, lead commentator for Love Pro Wrestling. Uh, All their shows on the Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, the last Thursday and Friday of every month. And it's done a hell of a job. And actually, if you check out our intro for the uh, wrestling streams, he's actually on there with me as the, in the very, very first clip of the whole thing. So. Well, yeah, Boris is absolutely a great guy, even though, you know, I'll even say that when he's not around.
so yeah basically we're in week two right now which is basically the time where we just we're trying to get something established here we're, we don't have any titles on the line quite yet and that's thanks to Heyman having a power card running around So let's see what Jody's got here. Oh, she's got this. All right, it's an interesting gimmick. Shots right to the face, jeez. Now, I, I want to find some way to get everybody into certain rivalries here somehow. But once again, like I said, Thea, Thea is just basically my pet project. Like every, every season, I like to get one wrestler that I can see if I can really try to develop. Last season, Trent Shaw just fell into my lap and ended up being WWE champion. And once we start getting into the stadium seats, maybe we can work on getting, uh, getting the money back up so we can actually deal with him. Picking him up back again and searching for him a little bit deeper. You can imagine how much of a nuclear tag it's going to be when uh, Thea tags in Nikita, right? Nice backdrop driver there by Thea. Thea's put in the work, but just keeps getting cut off. If I was the key, I would have just smacked her right there. Just like Cora did to me. Uh oh. Once again, another deck breaker. And there's your hot tag. And Cora just had none of it. Absolutely none of it. It's funny because if we get this, uh, if we get these tag teams set up, we're definitely going to. Yeah, isn't the key to the legal one here? I was wondering when, you know, little nature's gonna start calling that, but. Just a one count once again. Ooh, shot to the face. You gotta love it.
Cover with me to the right part of town, just... Michinoku driver. What's the key to setting up now? Shot to the stomach. Too hesitant there, not setting up for it. There's a hot tag to Thea. Michinoku driver to the giant. Jody's back to the outside. Stud gun, I love it. Thea's showing some attitude, I love it. So after this, uh, once we're done tonight, I'm I am gonna have to look at some of the the goals that we got coming up here. So we get maybe we can try and get both Hall of Fame trophies this month or this season. Sorry. I say month, and this literally, if this goes on time properly, this will go literally to the end of the year, season three. Then season four starts in January. I don't know if we'll get to season five. Hey, Jared, how you doing here tonight, Sal? Hope you're doing well, my friend. One of my favorite Killer Instinct players, for those that don't know, Jared 045. Going great? Good to hear, Sal. You, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing that Twitch Rivals coming up on Sunday. Hope to catch the finals when I get home from work. Nice splash. I thought Theo was going to get the upset there. Nice job, Cora. But Nikita's just a little too fresh for all that. Uh-oh, now we're getting fighting on the outside. This is not good. Oh, God, who's going to hit who first here? Nikita getting worked over here by this giant. Well, at least the two legal people got back in the rig. Ah, both go for drop kicks. See, the only way you can really win a tag match really quick here is if you hit the uh, stutter on the person in the corner, then hit your move. Robinson, I don't know what you're trying to do. I would have been cheating behind his back quickly and easily there. Nikita caught in the corner. Thank you. 
Nikita in the wrong part of town here needs to make a tag. Not that kind of tag. Nikita get worn out. Just doing the smart thing and heading to the outside. Cora doesn't care. Nikita back up. All right, gives enough. Nikita, be smart. Make that tag. Doesn't make the tag, and it's going to cost her. Just a one count? I'm actually surprised on that. Nice, DDT. Now, are they going to finish her off? Oh, it looks like it. Jody going to finish off Nikita Lyons? No. Off the ropes. Oh, Jody with a reversal. Ah, oh, there we go. Hooks the leg. Wow. Jody and Cora. Here are your winners. The team of Cora Jade and Jody Garcia. All right, Voodoo Girl and uh, Crazy Cora get the victory here in our opening match. Wonder what the score is going to be on this one. Just because we have two people with lower scores. No rivalry either. Watch this. Theory and... Oh, we did get the rivalry. Okay. Damn it! Well, I'm guessing I'm not getting that rivalry. That's okay. Jane's got to get some other work in then. Austin Theory, Johnny Gargano. Watch this be a five-star classic, and I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. The way is going at it tonight. We're getting the debut of Austin Theory tonight live. And the debut of Johnny Gargano. So we got a tag rivalry, which was disappointing. We got a... I love this crowd. They're such positive people. Like I said, these first couple weeks, I don't expect a lot of first scores. I know they're cleaning up with some of the scores they got. I just got to take a few more risks as we go along, but... I didn't want to play around with it with the, uh, the cost stipulation there. I want to save my money up. And I think this first PLE, we might only have two specialty matches on it. Just because of what's going on here. This rebel hot! This rebel hot! We're presenting DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, John.
like next week we are gonna have to whatever rivalries we have we're gonna have to start developing a little bit more we'll definitely have a call out promo for either we're gonna have a match or a call out promo for uh die jack and stacks we'll probably do a call out promo for this tag team Why is Johnny getting 50 50 chance? Gargano not wasting any time going straight up to the top. Theory really put the work in here. I like I like this. Gut wrench into another power bomb. Don't tell me he's gonna win this quick. I was going to say, Gargano doesn't give up that quickly. In theory, with a dive to the outside. Theory making his way back in here. Back into the corner. Gargano with a counter. Like to me, it's a little disappointing the fact that we didn't get Johnny to do a little better, a little bit of singles run right now. Because I'll tell you something, if I don't get, if I don't get a rivalry soon coming up here with the rest of this card, I am literally just going to start throwing fatal four ways everywhere and just pray that somebody matches up with someone. Theory managing to get out of it. That's body pretzel like a kind of like a pretzel here. Spinning heel kick. You're not supposed to be cutting around with the heel. Come on now. Nice run at elbow. Gargano literally had nowhere to go on that one. Siri throw back into the rig. Nice drop kick to the back of the head. Yeah. 
Double shot once again. Oh, Siri. Atow down. Is that going to be enough? How do you only get a one out of eight town down like that? Underground over the top. Oh, shot to the stomach. Nice trip. And to the kick. Crossbody coming. Nope. Who'd I cut on it? West Coast pop. Just a one count. These guys want to show off. Watch it be a one star match and I'll still get my credit here. I think these two were insulted for the fact where I put them on the card. Oh, look for a little meeting in the middle. That's gonna do it. That's gotta do it. There it is, Gargano with the victory. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. This might actually put Gargano in line for a for an IC title shot. We'll see how things go here. Gargano looking very impressed. Yeah, I made the mistake. I put it in a bad spot on the card. And there's our th there's our rivalry. So you know we are, we're up to three rivalries. Die Jack, all right, put yourself over a little bit. Now this one here, I'm just trying to establish something for our tag division. So I brought in a couple of guys from the Pat McAfee show, one face, one heel. And they can team up with the two people that fought last week and didn't give me much, except for a great match. Let's see how this one goes. Like I said, I'm just trying to come up with some rivalries so we can get some stuff going here. Because I need at least two level fours for the PLE. I don't care if I have four or five. Because even if I, if I have enough, I'll book a championship match going up, going into Backlash that I, and if Heyman pulls his card, Heyman pulls his card. I still find it amazing that he didn't get a chance to keep his title. That was actually shocking to me. But I think going into next week, we are going to have one of our first title defenses here. Or we're going to have a title match, one or the other. Either Ivy's going to have to defend her title against one of the ladies uh, coming up at our main event. She might have to defend against both at this point.
to be honest he's here for five weeks he costs five grand even if he doesn't do much for us once we get a little more established next season we can uh we can upgrade our jobber status here this is about the long haul not about the short trend right he thinks he's the green arrow he's a damn heel I wish they had more crowd chants for all these entrance musics just because we do have to have the music off due to copyright but having the fans here this is just as well he used to fire his hands up high but then he got popped his shoulder in his debut match if you didn't see that before I'm wondering if I went backwards on the face and heel on this booking Strange Bedfellows match isn't the worst thing in the world either, though. Because this crowd would not be booing a, a face that much. How basic the oh there we go mr tight pants ready to go i love how Ilya and sammy are starting this match just the way they should Nice shot there. Ilya's foot's caught on the rope, guys. Physics, who needs them? The one thing I like about this is if we get these other guys in, it will not take much to get rid of them. Like, I guarantee you all his energy is pretty much gone now. See, he's still dead outside. Sammy, focus on your opponent. Or get counted out. Would you would you see that if they got counted out the last second there? Not even a one count. Ilya, you, know, you gotta do better than that.
Sammy putting some work in, I see. I guess Theory is actually going to get some work in, maybe? Nope. Never mind. What the hell is that? These two getting to this is awesome, Chant. There's your hot tag, which but as warm as a as an ice cube. All right, this will be a little bit of amazing here. Block the drop kick. Darius is all about them reversals. Nice drop to hold. Ilya came in. He thought it was going to be off. I thought that might have been it. So don't forget, we do have a main event coming up here involving Shayna Baszler and Alba Fire going one-on-one. -on -one. That would have been hilarious. Ilya just said he had enough. His foot's on the damn rope, ref. I ain't, but why bother getting down? Ooh, you rule breaker, you. This is the first time I think I've seen that. All right, Taputo Moscow. Sammy coming for the save. Yep. Nice backdrop driver on the outside. Butler's got to learn not to take on the other guys. Dragonov just going to come in and pick the bones. Now dragging off attacking Sammy. Actually, not the smartest move, not the dumbest move in the world, really. So Butler's back up on his feet. You're not supposed to steal his move. Come on now. I'm not going to get a count out. I'm a little disappointed. Nice reversal by Ilya. Ilya just taking no quarter now.
Nice back body drop. Oh God, Ilya's down now. No way. I was gonna say, if that's how this match ends, I will be shocked. Boston car with it. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Darius ain't gonna let that happen. Missed the elbow, and now Sammy's pissed. Sammy at least gets time to rest now. Uh oh. Maybe not. Oh, God. Nice back elbow there. I didn't think these guys would have much in them. It would end a lot quicker, but. There we go, another tag in. And Ilya just said, welcome to the ring. Let me boot you in the face. So many fast tags. No breakup. You can tell by the shadow, nobody was coming in. Thought Boston might get the win there. Yeah, there's no way we don't get a rivalry here. I'd have to be pretty confident in that. And Boston split open. That's why I hate doing normal tag matches. Basically, you need a bit of a chaos moment to, to finish him, right? Don't tell me that's it. Okay. Darius Butler wins off the three amigos. Here are your winners. The team of Sammy Zayn and Darius Butler. If I screwed this up, I will fix the... And they get a rivalry, I'll just fix the face heel turns. I got to do 10 of them anyway, so if I do too quick. One and a half. No rivalry. All right, to hell with you guys. Stacks, oh, stacks, 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 sorry. All right. Alba and Shada, please give me something here. If there's anything here, at least, uh, at least it should help me get this going here. 
I've been having such a tough time getting these women's rivalries together. They're so fussy here. That's why I picked up fighters and brawlers, because they're supposed to, you know, fight with each other. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Oh, this is NXT Alba. Ah, yes, the NXT Alba Fire. What where she takes a baseball bat to anybody moving. I can respect that. It would be so cool in order to get Alba and... Alba and Shane in a feud here. Because I think these two would work really well together. If we didn't mix tags, we could do Alba and uh, Baron Corbin just for the uh, ring entrances, right? I love the fact that Shayna is technically a face here, but everybody's booing her. Seems like that this game does it a lot. I, I wonder if there's some way they could fix that on the AI. But yeah, this should be a hell of a matchup. Did somebody seriously throw TP in the ring at her? Nice shot there, Alba. See, I remember she, I remember Alba back when she was still Kaylee Ray. Not to be mistaken with Kylie Ray. On the independent seed. Like a lot of the stuff she did in, in the UK was absolutely fantastic. Going for the cover already. Getting a two count already on Shayna? Figure with all that training, you wouldn't, uh... That's a nice dive to the outside. Nice knee to the face there by Baszler. I will eventually turn Baszler heel, I think, but not yet. I think if we get a good enough score out of this video, we might just do a triple threat next week for the women's title. All right, that might be it. 
And fire says, no, we're going to stick her out here a little bit. And base. Ha! She put on her finisher too close to the ropes. That's always great. That's something you're not used to for Baszler and much. I was going to say, how'd you get a one count on a leg trip? Oh, no way. Everybody's unloaded finishers left, right, and center here. Each of them got a finisher in already. Surprised the referee didn't see that one bit, but these are WWE referees, so that makes a lot of sense. AEW referees see this stuff, they just don't care. Nice DDT. You know, Spanzler didn't roll to the outside. She got sent out there. Uh oh. Maintains wrist control. Crowd's absolutely having none of it with Shayna. We're going to end this on a count out. Nope. I thought for sure we we're going to get a count out. Eat defeat. Or a little bit of soul food, whichever way you want to call it. Is Alba going to be able to shake out of this? Nope. to the leg lock this might be enough no nope. no nope. alba firing out of it oh my god fire out of nowhere referee referee God, I haven't seen anybody pull fire out of nowhere there like that. Oh, Shayna's pissed. Oh, this is probably going to be it. Yep, Shayna chokes her out. three stars that's the biggest match in the card tonight did we get a rivalry out of it though yes we did so tonight we got three rivalries going I'll take it as a plus and speaking of minuses let's go see what everybody else did oh we were, we did that earlier never mind here's our report cards poor opening no kidding 
So we ended up getting three rivalries out of this. The tag match is the only one that didn't get us a rivalry. I'm not feeling bad about that. I'm feeling bad about that. Which means we're probably going to have to do a three-way for the title as we go forward here. Good booking as well for them. They got... They had four level ones for them tonight. That's always great. They got four level ones. They got four level ones. Everybody's got four level ones. I just had the poor booking in terms of uh, my opener. That opener was just, yeah. Should have just did uh, Jody and Th Thea. All right, let's go check out the important stuff here. ECW got 36,000 fans and up to 405,000. All right, so they got some cash. 123 for a score, 48,000 fans. 220,000 in the bank, so they got no money. Raw got 40,000 fans. And 434, so they did some cash. We did horribly. We only got 17,000. Wow. But we're almost at half a million. Wow. Jody and Cora work really well as a tag team. Well, I wish I'd get a better score to prove that. So we got the Hell Spa 3, so that's a bonus. We're still in first. We are now 78,000 behind Raw. We, we, we are going to have to work to get that title figured out here. We do have some championship matches in the bag for us to catch things up, so we're not going to feel horrible about it. Well, we got to start getting to work here. Every, everybody except for Bischoff has the same budget as us. And they're producing some better shows than us. So I guess we're going to have to get in gear and start producing a little better ourselves. But as per tradition and the fact that we don't, uh, we're not allowed to save at this point, we do have to advance one more week here. So uh, let's advance to our booking phase and we'll see what we got planned for next week. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Boss, I'd like to get as much in-ring experience as possible as part of my journey to become the greatest superstar in SmackDown. Booking me in a no-holds-bar match would be great for both me and the brand, either this show or the next one. How about it? You know what, Austin? What the hell? Why not? Let's see if we can book it. Cora, what do you got? Play the best superstar I match every week. I might get bored seeing me win. So easy. I need a bigger test. One that suits my superior skills. I want to go up against both Thea and Lions. Okay. All right, so for logistics, the same ones are up again. Because we got six assets now. I'm, I'm waiting for eight. For the PLE, we're going to get eight. We're going to have to use one. And then right after that, we can book out here. So, but yeah, let's see here. Injury, we have three, so that's actually going to help me look there. Okay, what I want to see the challenges before we go here. Book 15 one-on-one -on -one matches. That's going to be easy. 600,000 in the bank. We'll get that eventually. 10 triple threat matches. 10 power cards. 
fifth we have to complete two thirds of our commissioner goals, which I usually do. Book ten matches with superstars who have more than sixty five popularity. We're almost there. Five trades. That's gonna be tough. Ten false count anywhere matches. Book ten shows with a tag team call up promo. Ugh. That might be a little tougher here, but we can get into those a little later here. But we almost got all the one on ones out of the way here. The triple threats we'll start doing now. Once we get five of these, we get a power card, right? So. But yeah, with that being said, I think that's going to wrap it up here for tonight, folks. We'll just. Uh, bring it back over to the chat screen here once again everybody thank you for stopping by here for those on twitch we'll wrap things up here in just a moment but for those on youtube make sure you hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button uh, if you like what you saw here so you can catch up on everything backbreaker gaming and uh, hit the notifications to let you know when we drop things uh, usually it's 10 a.m eastern every day but we do have some odd ones that come out at different times so it's always good to hit the bell so that you know what's going on. But yeah, we got some work to do and yeah, we'll, I think we're going to start being, stop being chickens and get some titles going here. So, but with that being said, thank everybody for stopping by here today. And always remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody. <laughs>